is First Coast News at 11. They would take me On away. The victims of sexual abuse at the hands of priests, pastors, and ministers come together to have their voices heard. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Victor Blackwell. It was a mission started for victims of unthinkable crimes. Now, one man's work is making a positive impact on alleged victims of church sex abuse. First Coast News' Angela Williams sat in a, on a public discussion where survivors of abuse are reaching out to one another to move forward. He would tell me I was pretty. He would kiss me on my face. His hands would go lower in those moments of disgrace. Words written by a victim of sexual abuse, now spoken at a discussion for people who claim their ministers sexually abused them. Here they, along with their supporters, can share and comfort each other. He said they wouldn't believe me, that they would take me away. Of course I believed him. He was like God in my mind. I was ashamed and somehow thought that this was of my own design. It began through this website, ChristianSchoolsConfidential.com, created by Dwayne Walker. Churches should be doing what I'm doing right now. As a supporter, he wanted to provide what he says is an avenue of information and insight. I think that there's a siege mentality that when you mention um, pedophiles in the pulpit and abusive pastors, everybody just clams up. But I don't think they need to clam up. I think churches do need to start addressing this issue in a more vocal stance. Supporters like Susie Fernandez come to listen. And I basically just came with an open mind, maybe to seek out other people and their experiences and what worked for them, how did they find healing, and, um, and to share my experiences as a mother of two victims. Through the website, Fernandez says she found comfort and a connection. And you need to understand that there's other parents out there that feel the same as you do. And it's a feeling Walker hopes will reach as many as needed. I think um, recovery is important. I think lawsuits are only going to take you so far. You know, you need to get your self-esteem back in some way. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your wisdom and your grace and taking my feelings of unworthiness and replacing them with your strength. For a link to the Abuse Victims website, go to firstcoastnews.com. Time now for an update on election 2008. Barack Obama has done it again. After picking up three states in Saturday's contests, Obama added the majority of Maine.